Fresco Executives, and welcome to Anno 2070! This is a game about an ecologic. a. well, hmm. How do I put this? It's basically about government after an ecological disaster. You can tell it's an ecological disaster because Greenland is looking quite green and Iceland is not looking particularly icy. <laughs> Right, okay, so this is a game that I picked up, like, quite a while ago, and I haven't touched in quite a while. Um, I, like, played it a lot when I first got it, and then was like, bored now, I'm going to do something else. And now I've decided to come back to it, and I remember how much fun it is. Also, ignore that it does not say Wazco or something that it says Enderborn Incorporated. Um, that's sort of my, uh, uh, basically, you're only allowed to choose your name once, and I would have changed it to Wazco or something like that for this, but sadly, it's not letting me. Um, so, yeah. But, anyways, Enderborn Incorporated, I don't know, that doesn't sound too bad, although it is a Minecraft reference, and, mm, uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm gonna load up the city we're going to be playing with, um, and then, well, for this episode, we're going to be playing with this particular city that I'm about to load up, but... Yes, this is going to be a Spring Break Long series on, um, Anno 2070. And each episode will be sort of us doing something different. Uh, and I will admit right at the beginning that I am playing on peaceful mode for this first episode. Basically, I just removed all AI that actually do anything, because I just wanted the whole area to myself, but eventually... We'll load up the Ark, which if you played this game, you will know what I'm doing. Uh, we'll load up the Ark, and, uh, you know, ship a bunch of supplies off to somewhere else, and then we'll actually play with a bit of a challenge, and then just as I keep getting successful and successful loading up the Ark and going to new places, I'll just make the difficulty more and more difficult. Uh, so, yes. And, alright, I'm gonna go load the save. I'll be right back. All right, and we are in. Welcome to the desolate wasteland that is my home island. Actually, it's not that desolate yet. Um, probably because, um, I don't know, this thing uses solar panels. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the eco one, even though right now I'm playing as the tycoons. I, I need to explain things. All right, so basically, because this is a game set after a climate disaster, there is an eco-balance mechanic, basically meaning that you have to take care of the environment or else it will just turn right around and just beat you over the head with some sort of club it is manufactured. Uh, <laughs> and essentially, um, the, there's two main factions and then there's like a third one that you unlock that you just add their technology to yours. Um, and basically, um, there are the, ty the Tycoons, which are the guys I'm currently playing as, because, you know, Wazco Tycoons kind of made sense. Uh, and then there's also the uh, New Eden people, which are like all the green hippie people. They're like, way environment! Anyways, um... But anyways, let's get started. Because you see, right now, this, this here will sustain itself forever. But, it's not nearly going to be what we need in order to load up the Ark and just go, okay, let's just go. Like, we're just gonna load up this Ark and be like, fah and just leave. Like, we're just gonna load up this Ark, it's gonna sink down to the bottom of the ocean and, like, go around. I think this, supposedly this thing has tank treads. It just, like, way touching the bottom of the ocean, there's just a big set of tank treads. that then just, like, has an extendo thing that just makes it go up above the water. Not sure. Oh yeah, this is an item I found in one of my games, which, um, what it does is it basically eats a certain item, and then once you use this item, it basically just does a thing. So basically what this does is specific coordinates sends a unit on an expedition outside of a sector, meaning outside of a map. Hey, trench coat's here. Hey! When do you show up? Anyways, uh, enough of that. Yeah, so, um, actually, what does Trenchcoat have? We got a little job lined up. This, this is just a you guy in? who does stuff. Would I like to transport delivery without being discovered by scanner units? That's what we call bad luck. Sorry, man. 
<laughs> I, I'm not good at stealth. Um, anybody who's seen me play any video game ever with any kind of stealth mechanics would tell you that. Um, anyways, I don't know how edited these videos are going to be. I really don't. But anyways, um, shall we get cracking? Okay, so first, we should probably raise our tax income by improving the houses. And in order to improve the houses, we have to provide them with stuff. These guys are actually ready to improve. It's just that they don't have the tools necessary to do so. So what we're going to do is we're going to express ship in some tools. Potential source identified. To Send assignment food, you can now. 40 tons of tools in for 5,000 5, credits when you wish to My buy. information was of use to you. <laughs> Yeah, shut up, thank you, us. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that, that character gets annoying sometimes. Um, alright, so once we have the tools, we're going to, uh, what, what's one thing uh, we may want that we can build right now? We can make concrete and tools. I think the tools would be more useful at this juncture. Because, um... Yeah, the, the tools would be more important because those are, like, used for everything, and I don't think concrete is. I might be wrong. Reporting delivery of ah, ordered yes. goods. Thank you, little Amazon drone. <laughs> it really does look like the Amazon drones. Uh, so, all right, you go there. Um, yeah, you're wondering why these ships are just sitting here. That's because they have nothing to do. Uh, because there's nobody on this map to trade with, I have to be completely self-reliant on this map, or else I can't get anything. Alright, stick that in there, there we go, and then you just go back over here. <sighs> so, uh, okay, all comparisons to Tropico and SimCity, get them out of your head, because trust me, that you... this is a lot more micromanagey, I feel. Actually, no, I've never actually played Tropico, I wouldn't know what's more micromanagey than Tropico. Okay, so basically this um, area here is where it'll all start allowing us to build. So we're going to build one here to give us access to those riverbeds. And then we're going to build one here to give us access to these iron mines. And then another one here to give us access to that iron mine. Right, so now that we have these three depots, we need to start connecting them up with roads. Actually, first, how about we build the iron mine first? So we need an iron mine. Here, here, and here. Right. Okay. Now, we need roads connecting the... I always build my roads like this, so people who are screaming at me in the comments don't kill me, I suppose. So now we just need coal. Actually, no, first we should probably build the smelters. Right. We have these. And now we need these. Except we're out of tools, so we need to wait until we can get more somehow. Didn't Trench Scout have tools? I'm gonna go buy some tools from Trench Scout. Ah, uh, fuck. Is that going down or up? 657. I can't tell if it's going up or not. <laughs> um, anyways. Alright, so that ought to get our mining industry started. Um, I might actually want to put down more of these rotary extractors just so that way I can get a bit more coal. Because you need coal in order to power your stuff as the tycoons. Um, as the new eating guys, you just use wind power and stuff. So Wasco might go green eventually, just out of sheer boredom and, you know, for the sake of just not exhausting all of our resources. Um... Alright, what does everything require? That requires tools. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, people are just not being as happy, so... 
Uh, let's just plunk down a bunch more houses for the time being, just so that way we get more taxpayers in. Just, you know, it's always good to have lots of people paying taxes. Uh, Um, instead of just letting you spam beast. Alright, I was gonna go see about trench coat. Which trench coat had tools, wasn't it? Uh, How you doing? He does have tools, he has 31 tools. Okay, that should be enough to help us get us finished off on our mining project. Yes, we know you don't have any raw materials. We're sorry. You require coal. We apologize profusely. Um, how would the coal actually get here? Oh, here's the thing, it wouldn't, because... Registering mainland. Registering mainland. Okay, so that's a thing. Uh, how would one get across that? Is it possible? Can, I don't know if you can build bridges or not. Oh, you can build bridges, cool. You know, I'll spend a bit of extra money, because um, the thing is, if you build roads, um, the sort of little things that... The little drones, like, they start sending trucks over to supply things, rather than, you know, you have to get it into that location yourself. So there's that. Um, they'll probably start sending coal over there, who knows? They might not. Uh... I think they're going to, but oh well, this will at least give us a spot to put the coal things. Uh, hey, we found stuff! What's on this island? Wow, this is a tiny, tiny island. There's a lot of rivers on it that we can do stuff with, though. What, what, what is it bleeping at me over here for? Whatever. Um, oh, it's you! You, give us these. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for Alright. <laughs> now, we have. Oh, yeah! No, they're sending trucks over. At least I think we're sending trucks over. You! Infrastructure bridge. Oh, they won't actually tell me what is in this. Okay, but I'm assuming it's coal, so. You know. I might have to put some more rotary extractors down, anyways. Just because, so that way it, uh. Is less uh, just reliant on things. And then I'm gonna have to build some uh, tool extractor things. Build some tool fabricators. So that way we can have all the tools we require. <coughs> what did that guy do? No idea. What keep bleeping at me for? Oh, that might have been bleeping at me. No. Okay, that's not why that was bleeping at me. I have no idea why that's bleeping at me. However, a little boat with the tools we require is almost back. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if this isn't a very interesting commentary. It's just that I can't really commentate on a game that I don't really know that much about. Um, right. First things first. Let's get a couple more of these down. Like three more of those down, and now let's build a whole bunch of those. There, and it still leaves us three tools. Production breakdown. All right, because these guys don't have the resources they require. Give them a second, they'll have it eventually. <laughs> right. So now we just need to 
just sit and wait, and they'll make more tools. In the meantime, let's build some more houses, just so that way our tax rate goes up. I'm actually going to tear up this road and Is it just me or does these sound city street effects sound a lot like ones from Pharaoh? Or do all streets just sound the same? Is that street racist, if I assume all streets sound the same? Assume all crowded streets sound exactly. Construction the same. opportunities expanded. Right. There we go. Oh, construction opportunities expanded. Oh, cool. I now have more of these. Uh, <laughs> right. That'll just bring up my population to allow me to do more things. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can build a shipyard. Requires concrete, or I can build. Ooh! <laughs> Convenience food! Oh, so I need meat, meat factory, and a flavor lab, which cultivates three vegetables. Do I have vegetables on this planet? Damn it. <laughs> no. Um, these have vegetables. They can find a few other things. Oh my god, I think I know where I'm getting all my sand from. Mm. Interesting. It's a really tiny island. Of course, I don't need a gigantic island. Right. <laughs> so now we are getting lots of moolah. I think. Are we? Yeah, we are. Because sometimes it goes, yes, you are making money, and then it turns out you're actually losing money for some contrived reason. <laughs> I will never understand this game, but I don't think I want to. Um, Alright, so now we have just... Uh, you see, this is where I'm starting to think that, yeah, maybe we'll be able to you know, get along and do something, but... Um, I'm still thinking kind of want to have a bit more of just everything. Uh, just, I want to make sure that I, like, have, you know, like, the exotic food and shit, too. Just so that way, um... Like, I really wish you could have, like, more than what, um... Like, I wish I you could, like, decide how many boats, because, to be honest, these free boats would not be able to hold, this warehouse would not be able to hold all of the stuff that I'm going to cram into this thing. Trust me. <laughs> I'm going to cram a ton of shit in here, just so that way I don't have to worry about making more of it once I get all set up. Once I start going into the other islands. So... Alright, um, we need to settle into here. Oh, we're starting to run out of fish. The liquor! Well, okay, the liquor's sort of breaking even. <sighs> but no fish! Liquor! 
Uh, yeah, that's a wonderful combination. Actually, I've heard of this. Um, right, you put the tools in there. Put the tools in there. Right. We're going to colonize a new island. Or shall we do that next episode? I don't know. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm thinking keep the episode short. Just so that way, um, you know, it doesn't get boring in the episodes. So, uh, I, so basically, this is what our city is now, after, you know, one episode of doing things. So, there's that. Um, so yes, uh, Wazco Executives, I, um, I have been Waziggler, the Wazco CEO, and I think this concludes episode one of my NO2070 series. Um, I'm gonna try and only spend as few episodes building the Lasco HQ as possible, but at the same time, I kinda wanna spend a lot of time working on just this city and just being, you know, doing weird stuff with it and just seeing how far we can get um, before it all just falls apart. And I, to be honest, would love to see just more things done with this city. But, um, anyways, I think for now I'm gonna, like, maybe spend at most three episodes just getting this done, and then I'm just gonna load everything into the Ark, and then just ship out for probably not pirate territory, but, uh, at least territory where other people are. Because right now, um, we only have our friendly neighborhood I know hobo. you! So far, we only have our friendly neighborhood hobo. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That actually kind of startled me when he said that. Um, yeah, so right now, we only have our friendly neighborhood hobo. And, well, he is a nice fellow. Um, he's not the greatest of company. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, see you guys later. Bye! Man, it's been a while since I've said that.